Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today I have an unboxing. Actually, I have two unboxings. Let's go take a look. I got this box, and I don't want to sound like I buy a lot of things, but I don't know what's in the box. I don't remember buying anything from Value Pet. Pet supplies. Harvest bite. Oh my goodness. Bug bites, bug bites, bug bites. Okay, that was very anticlimactic. I thought because I had ordered stuff from. Well, I got six bug bites because my fish love bug bites. I get the tropical, I get the cichlid, I usually get anything from small to medium and I can crush it up with my fingers feed it to fry. Obviously, this is not what I give them every day, but bug bites is definitely a part of their their diet and their ritual for almost all of my time. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. And I have another unboxing. Two unboxings, I'm so excited. Come join me. I just got a box from Aquarium Co-op and I know it's my new light. Ah! Let me see. I've I don't, I'm not quite sure how to do this. <laughs> not that way. Last thing I want to do is cut my finger. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's as fragile as I rip it open. <gasps> it's my new light! Okay, I got the Fluval Nano Plant Spectrum LED. I am so stoked about this light. Oh, I've been waiting for him as soon as he, I think he put it on his Patreon or his uh, Instagram that he had him in stock. Man, I was in the middle of a business meeting and I had to go on and get it. I am so excited. So here it is. Oh, the Fluval Nano. I can't even. I don't even know. I don't even. Ah! This is going to take some reading. Oh, yes. This is perfect size for my tank upstairs. Oh, I'm thinking my plants are going to start doing really well. Okay, so let me plug this light in. This is 7,500 Kelvin, 15 watt. Very exciting. Look how bright it is. Look how bright it is. Now I'm gonna be able to use the Fluval Smart app. I'm gonna download that app to my phone and it's customizable. I cannot wait to go set it up upstairs. I'm gonna bring it upstairs, but first uh, let me show you the light. I took the light off of the the tank upstairs and brought it down here and I'm gonna replace it with this light upstairs Ooh, let me take a look this little tiny tiny light is what I've had on the tank upstairs and I'll show it to you in a minute 
But that's it. It's just a little tiny light. So now having real fresh light is going to be really good. Ooh, don't look at that tank. That's a surprise. I think I like this unboxing stuff. I'm going to have to buy more just so I can do unboxing. Aquarium Co-op, thank you very much. Thank you for being there. Thank you for all your training. Thank you for all your videos. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be in the hobby. Let me tell you. I used to call you my guppy guy. You know, that guppy guy on YouTube. You know, that guppy guy. Well, you're so much more than a guppy guy now. Oh, you got rid of your guppies. I forgot you were crying. Thank you. I'm going to go set it up. Come on upstairs with me. Hi, guys. I came upstairs to put my light on the tank. Got my beautiful Nano Fluvo light. That's going to be remote control that I'm putting on this tank up here. Very, very excited. Here's a problem. We have a problem. So here's my tank. Some people who are probably more experienced than I already see the problem. This has a rim on it. This does not accept a rim. Uh, I don't know how to take a rim off or I need a clamp or a mount for my mount. So if anybody out there knows how to mount one of these new, newer ones, obviously made for rimless tanks, onto this, please let me know. Okay, this one over here was similar, I just gouged out. Not much of a do, but it was much thicker. Wait, I gouged out the black trim, and even still, it's not that sturdy, but this is much smaller. And not even if I took off the edge, would it be able to fit on So if there. anybody has any ideas or solutions that can help me attach this awesome light to an old school tank with a big black rim, please let me know in the comments. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully I'll get some good ideas in the comments of how I can attach my new tank. And I just downloaded the app. So I'm still going to play with the app to figure out how to use it because somehow or another I'm going to use this light. See you guys next time.